To switch your Stereoclave on, please use any of the multifunction buttons, as indicated here. If your Stereoclave uses a Stericard, you will be prompted to insert it now, unless it is already in position. Your Stereoclave will then move to the default standby screen. Below the date and time, you will see standby displayed, along with the last cycle type run and the current chamber conditions, temp and pressure. Initially, the door mechanism may need to pre-warm prior to letting the door become operational. Once the door has unlocked, you can load your trays, shut the door and start the cycle type displayed above by simply pushing the button that changes to a start function. Additional information regarding the Stereoclave status will also be displayed. In this case, the generator is continuing to warm up. Information regarding water tank levels will be displayed here. In this case, the clean water tank is at maximum. To access further functionality, including different cycle types, you can now press the menu button. The multifunction buttons now assist in navigating through the options. The enter button allows you to go into submenu pages or confirms a selection. Where there are additional options available by scrolling down, you can view them by pushing this button. If additional options were available by scrolling up, this button would activate with an up arrow displayed. A left pointing arrow here lets you know you can exit back to the previous menu using this button, a back button. Each of the options on the menu screen allows you to navigate to a relevant sub-menu using the enter button. The first of these options is the cycle sub-menu. The options in the cycle menu relate to pre-programmed standards approved cycles you can use. By selecting one you will set the machine to run that cycle. Which cycle options available to you will depend on which model you have. In this case the Speedy has a pre-programmed dental handpiece cycle. Stereoclaves capable of processing cannulated instruments have a B in the model name and have vacuum cycles available in the cycle menus. The last option on the cycle menu is called Special User. This is a cycle that you can design yourself in advanced tools. We will look at this later in the presentation. By using the left button and returning to the menu screen, you can now select the next option, Main Settings and push Enter. The options available in this sub-menu relate to the Stereoclave itself and how it works with you. Once set, these should require minimal adjustment. The exceptions are number 6 and 7 in this case. Cycle recording can be stored to your Stericard or switched off. Please be aware, when enabling cycle recording, that the Stericard has a finite memory and will need to be regularly synchronised with your Commonox Reader software or erased. Data logging can be changed to give you an update each minute or at each phase change. This option is very useful when servicing the Stereoclave or diagnosing its status. We recommend the change of phase option for normal use to minimise printer paper usage. The third sub-menu on the menu screen is Advanced Tools. Here you can set your special cycle, program delayed starts and set up your user Stericard and more. Selecting Probe Special lets you choose the sterilising temperature the length of the cycle, number of peaks, and how long if you want to dry your finished load. Once you have created your customised cycle parameters, this can be validated, along with your Stericlave, by an authorised service technician to ensure it complies with standards. By selecting Programmed Start, you can choose when your Stericlave starts its next load. This is particularly useful in the last load of the day, it allows the cycle to be automatically started at a set time and completed just as you walk in the door tomorrow, rather than letting completed loads sit overnight. You may also wish to use this function to run your Bowie Dick and vacuum tests without taking up valuable staff time. The Hollow Loads option is a calculator to allow you to assess whether a specific instrument or item is Hollow A or Hollow B. This will dictate which cycle is necessary. The Stericard option allows you to manage and program the user card to allow or restrict user access to functionality. From the main menu screen you can select Cycle Records, and if you have turned this feature on, 
Your previous records will be displayed in this location. The next main menu option is Maintenance. In this menu, your Stereoclav will inform you how many cycles, days remain before service or part replacement is necessary. This is like a car service schedule, as the Stereoclav service is based on cycles or days, whichever comes first. Thank you for taking the time to view our presentation. We hope you found it useful. If you require further information, please visit www.zonemedical.com.au or www.thespeedy.com.au